viewers and subscribers welcome welcome back to another video now it's a boy sae big up on yourself and thank you all for tuning into this one so you know what um coming up in two days video guys gonna zoom in on west indies head coach um darren sammy basically saying that he believes that this west indies um team can deliver the goods you understand he said we can win this year's t20 world cup no question about it is just that we need to be confident in ourselves you understand and he basically went on to speak about um the performance of the team and what um the players like jason all and those guys bring to the team but he he was really upset that he said it's a big blow that jason ola got an elbow um injury i think and um he will be out but he's saying that you know the other guys in the team can step up likes of shepherd and ray tay um you know he talks a lot about what he's expecting of his team and the past glory of his team and you know people we're gonna let you hear the full details but before we do so though please go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to be the first alerted whenever a new video is uploaded and don't forget we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers so without further ado people let's dive right into it because right now as you can see my eyes i want to sleep you yeah, understand and you know it's the morning and rated but let's dive into the details i understand leave your thoughts down below as usual pick up on yourself we can viewers and subscribers sammy confident West Indies will deliver T20 World Cup title. So people, welcome, welcome back to another video. You know, and, um, I just browse through the Jamaica Observer, guys, and I saw this article here. You know, Darren Sam was in an interview, guys, where he was basically talking about the T20 World Cup, alright? So I'm going to go quote a little article to you guys, and then you can draw your conclusion from it. Not too long, you understand? So... Despite the team's below par performance in the last two editions, head coach Darren Sammy um, says he is domestic. The West Indies can provide a real challenge for the ICC Men's T20 World Cup title in the Caribbean and the USA. Since his appointment, people, in May um, 2023, Sammy has success in the T20 format, winning three of the teams four series including against world cup favorites india and england the caribbean men completed a dominant three nil series swept over south africa and sunday in the first international series in jamaica since 2022 as captain sammy led the west indies in their two world cup titles in 2012 and 2016 right However, following his retirement, the team struggled in 2021, winning just one match in the Super 12. And in 2022, they failed to make it out of the group featuring relative um, minors, Zimbabwe, Scotland and Ireland. You understand? And that was a part in West Indies history where a lot of fans was basically disappointed in the West Indies and you know, because we expected the West Indies to qualify for the World Cup. Unfortunately, it never happened. And now, you know, we have to rebuild and come again. So, let's continue. But now, 12 months in as head coach, Sami says he's confident the team can turn things around and win the third um, crown. I have a team that is very proud. They believe they're... They are some of the better players in the world. They believe as a team that we can win. And I am pretty sure you saw how we played against South Africa. He said, I believe um, with all the work we have put in, the way we have played T20 cricket at home, especially last year and the start of the year, we haven't lost a series at home. I am happy with what I'm seeing, the roles that I have been executed, and I am pretty sure Captain Ravman Powell has the belief that we can go out and win the World Cup, and so do I. So, 
that means basically confident in these guys guys i understand nothing to exaggerate it he's just saying that hey everybody need to have confidence in their team and he believe that the team that he have can deliver the goods and i don't blame him for that because whereas the caribbean fans is saying the same thing i understand but he's just making his known the west indies were without the likes of powell andre russell nicholas poor and shimran hetmeyer for the south africa series due to their um, involvement in the in their premier league however sammy expects um them to transition into the team as they begin their campaign in the coming days as we know people they have australia i think in trinidad could and thursday something like that people they have been playing cricket you know ravman at my russell just won um an ipl so game time in the middle has been good Romara shepherd came in and saw what he had Rutherford hasn't played a game since February, but we have been in constant communication with these guys, he said. So he's saying that he's basically been checking up on these guys. Guys, they know keep them mentally focused, keeping you know where their mindset is. He wants to know that and rate it. It's not new for the guys turning up a couple days before. That's what they have been doing for the last six years or so but it's a world cup and what i've seen here and the guys that are coming in most of them have much practice under their belt so i'm not worried at all the windy's bowling department the windy's bowling department has been a concern in the past which was a key role key reason for their pursuit of star spinner Sunil Narin who declined to return to international cricket and we all as fan people are basically concerned about that no question about it everybody is concerned about um the West Indies bowling attack you understand and what we're going to do what's our best bowling combination you understand so um, as we know, all round Jason Muller was also ruled out of the tournament with a shoulder injury. However, Sami believes the likes of Obed Makai, Gudakish Moti, and Shamar Joseph can play a huge part in the team's success. Jason is a big blow, big, big blow. You know, he has been part of this T20 setup for the last few years, and I, and he's, he's been one of our better death bowlers but we also know Obed is quality he Makai um, also been that left arm angle and variation you saw that when he is good he's really is really good and he can create some problem you know in the middle over and in the back end is an inadequate replacement he said yeah so let's finish up the article moti continue to do well to do really well he's been a massive find for us especially in the middle overs getting wickets and creating pressure and seeing shamar ball in the new ball it's encouraging signs some men um will play their final warm-up match against australia in trinidad and thursday before they start um their group stage against Papua New Guinea and Sunday in Guyana. So you know people that was how the article went. Um what's your take on it? Leave it down below. Big up on yourself.